a work of art created to question Hong Kong's identity. This $3,500 piece by local artist Damon Tong is made up of 27,000 Made in Hong Kong stickers. More than 1,000 artists from 113 galleries are participating in this year's affordable art fair. Jess Lau, who's exhibiting for a second time, says her speciality digital art is a hard sell. This is really a good chance to net us to connect with the public, the general public. We spoke to first-time exhibitor Lonely Lau just after he made his first sale. I think it's a good chance to let, let my paintings to touch, uh, to get more audience to know my paintings. The exhibits range from the conventional to the bizarre. This local artist's unusual canvas of supermarket and bank receipts called Customer is designed to reflect consumerism in Hong Kong and a reminder of how the art market here caters mostly to investors and those with deep pockets. Buyers, particularly from mainland China, accounted for 20% of art sales worldwide, spending more than $6 billion last year. Just weeks ago, millions of dollars worth of art was sold right here at Art Basel, Asia's biggest art fair. Many high-end buyers and collectors visited, especially from mainland China. But few are seen at this art fair. 90% of the buyers are from Hong Kong, and organizers say about half are buying art for the first time. The attraction for many is the price tag. This couple spent $4,000 on a painting by an Irish artist they had never heard of before. Yeah, we kind of fall in love with this piece of art artwork at first sight. <laughs> so. we, we trust our feelings. <laughs> and that is how this buyer made her choice too. I love the color combination and also the leaves are in heart shape. <laughs> I like the warm feeling. Many say this art fair is a refreshing change in a city where art is mostly treated as a commodity. Visitors say it's the art and the feeling it invokes that inspires them to buy rather than its potential as an investment. Divigo Palin, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.